All right, welcome back. We have a knife. Um, this is the first time I've actually done a trade. I've certainly sold knives and freed up budget. I'm going to cut this uh, open off screen here just uh, so I don't see a good angle to not show some private information. But yeah, I hadn't done a trade before using the 8020.5 20 from Demco, just the standard bribery model to do the opening. Wow. Now, I have to say, of all the Rube Goldberg projects, some of them are kind of humorous. Let me see if I can get this on here without exposing anything. This is the best I've seen. Um, someone actually putting in the time to properly box something. This is like perfect fit. <laughs> like that is really cool. Good job, uh, seller on this one. So yeah, anyways, the first time I think I've actually technically done a trade that I can think of. I don't remember doing another. Um, we'll see how it turned out. I, I gave up a really nice knife for this one, but this should be a really nice knife too. So I've been on a bit of a tear collecting Demco 8020 no slot variants. And uh, this one popped up and I was like, mm, I'm not sure I can walk away from that. So definitely an older one because uh, I don't even see the blade steel listed there. Mm. This one has like a little bit of use on it, but it doesn't look like it's used and abused or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, Full size 8020. You can see the difference in the blade stock thickness versus the 8020S here. And the full size all come in clip point. It is super cold out. It's like 18 degrees. So it's going to take a little while for this one to defrost. It could be, I mean, some of the very early ones, they didn't have the blade steel carved in there. Let's see if we can see it I don't I can't tell I don't hang on one sec let me take this off screen I don't think I see it on this one so that, that just means it'd be a very old variant most likely Normally they have um, bubble wrap, so that's may or may not be original packaging, but probably not. Um, but this does look like original box. It's in very good shape, uh, having seen a lot of these come around and through. So just kind of curious. I mean, this is really showing like an old one. It doesn't even have the 17-4 uh, pH in there on the uh, shark lock. I think he said it was a crewware model, um, but I don't know where he got that from. And maybe I just need to let me pull out my flashlight. Let's see if I can uh, if I can find it on there. You can see I'm nerding out a little bit on this, but. I just don't know that it's actually, it could be very lightly visible from like some weird angle. Like I feel like I see a little something there, but it's certainly not obvious. Oh, I barely see the W. It might just be that it needs to get cleaned. Hang on one sec. Grab it tissue and clean that out really quickly. 
It's gonna sort of push the tissue into there and give it a little rub. Yeah, you can see it's pretty dirty. Try that again. This is the fun of collecting though, is like, huh, what did I just get? <laughs> what did I buy? Did I do well? Did I not do well? When you're, especially if you're collecting a high volume, like you both run a lot of risk. There we go. So now you can definitely see more, but it's still not like clear as day or anything. See that very light etching? It is very hard to see, but I believe I see, yep, I now see a CW in there. I don't know if you can see that now on the screen, but now I can definitely see it with the naked eye. And that, there we go. That's probably the best angle so far. Let's see if I can now angle it so that, that the screen can see it too. I think you can see the W pretty well now. But there's a CW right there. There you go. Now you can really let's see what's the best way. Sorry, I'm trying to make this. You probably don't care at this point. You're like, dude, we're six minutes in and you keep talking about what blade steals this thing. <laughs> um, but we'll just say, suffice to say, that's a CW. Even though I can't seem to get it to show really well on the camera. So anyways, crew wear. See how the centering is here. And then one of the things I was curious is just how this edge is. I mean, crew wear luckily is a very resilient steel, um, very tough, and pretty good edge retention. You know, better, probably not quite as tough as 3V, but up there, and better edge retention. It feels really clean. Let's cut some stuff. You can see for sure. Yeah, I was etching out some knife designs there. Yeah, that's sharp. Let's tear this off. And then over here, we're gonna do a quick light edge test. That's very good. Now, does it look like it's been sharpened? I don't think so. I think it looks like it's a factory edge, so that's good. It could have been stropped. But if so, it's not obvious or anything. And it's a really good edge. So you almost don't care at that point that much. If it's, not, if it's hard to tell, it's a really good edge. And everything else on the knife looks really good. Like the pivot hardware looks really good. Doesn't look highly tampered with or anything like that. Maybe a little bit, mm, hard to say. It might've been opened, doesn't really matter. We'll see, just, I mean, this is not a, a slicey, you wouldn't expect this to really work with this knife, but this will definitely determine, yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna push cut through there. But yeah, I was, uh, up top, it's not, it's not very sharp up here. So it may have been used to like open some packages. That's what I would say. Looks like it's been used to like maybe open some packages because up the tip here isn't as sharp. Um, but the belly or the bottom of the blade is very sharp still. So interesting. Um, so I have one variant just like this, but it is 3V. 3V. Um, yeah, and this uh, particular seller wanted to switch over to the shark foot, which is definitely the better EDC in my opinion. If you're if you're gonna be in the mountains and taking on bears or something like that, 
then this is definitely the better knife. You want a little bit of a point on your knife for that. A little self-defense action. But aside from that, I think like the better all-around EDC is going to be the shark foot. And I had one with the milled titanium just like this. And uh, I have like a few of those. So made the trade to, uh, to grab another one of these, which are very rare and hard to come by. So from a collector perspective, I can get, I can get more of a shark foot titanium pretty easily. This is pretty hard to get for me as a collector. Um, yeah, so it must be a very early variant, um, which is cool. It's always fun to happen upon one like that. Uh, it looks really nice. Like the blade doesn't look like it's been used a lot or anything. You'd see, you know, a lot of marks in it and stuff. So it looks really clean. Now he mentioned there was like a little bit of just a little touch of like, yeah, like a little burr right there or something. Not the biggest deal in the world, but you can see like a little scratch right there, which could probably be polished out pretty easily with a, the right tool. Um, but I didn't even notice it. I had forgotten about it until I remembered that he mentioned it. it is not very noticeable. But yeah, these are just big, beautiful knives and very hard to get. So when one comes up, I'm oftentimes inclined to try and figure out how to get one, get it. And this, uh, this seems like a good one. So, um, you know, the weight on these is pretty crazy because you have no slot, you have full weight titanium. In fact, I think it weighs in almost eight ounces if I recall correctly, but let's find out. get this real accurate here and just to compare this is a full weight Thai shark foot so that's also a very heavy variation 7.6 ounces this one has no milling so that's actually the heaviest scale option is a no milling um, smooth titanium I believe they actually mill this design out of that scale but I don't know 100% for sure but still, this one weighs 7.7 .7 ounces. It looked like it was bordering 7.75. Yeah, give or take. Let's try and switch it to uh, grams. About 219, 220 grams. That's a, that's a hefter, a hefty heifer, hefty heifer. Um, you know, and by comparison, here is a uh, 80-20.5 with the same configuration plus the slot. You're talking 4.15 ounces, almost half the weight. And, uh, you know, for most use cases, this is going to do everything that that knife does and more, but <laughs> definitely are hard use use cases that this is in a different league and dimension. So I just don't make a lot of knives like this these days. I don't know if these days is the right term in general. A knife that's both like fidgety, hard use, Make sure the lockup's really good on it, of course. As always with Demco's, centering looks perfect there, as per usual. Let's see the best way I can show you that. It's hard to figure out where the lens of the camera is to get this in a spot where you can actually see it 
um, the texture on this is just so nice and I've said it a few times in other videos but I really wish they had done the same finish on the 8020.5 I don't know if it's a factor of this being produced in Taiwan but it's definitely more of a working finish I guess for lack of a better description it's fine it's good but I prefer it on the flat because the flat you kind of get that but it's not you know abrasive so it feels pretty good like this is to me a better EDC configuration um, for actual carry and use than this um, that just doesn't feel great in the hand whereas the way that they finish this and it just must be something that they can't do in the Taiwan factory or maybe they don't want to do for the cost of it maybe the cost of it's too great to finish it with this kind of um, God, what would you call that? It's like a, uh, it's not bead blasted, but um, stone washed, maybe, finish. Um, it really is a level up and it feels like you get the texturing without the abrasiveness. So kind of see the, the different levels here. Even this finish is quite different on the uh, non-textured variants. You can see one's very much matte Sorry, did not get that right. And one's got this kind of nice stone washed look to it. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, with no further ado, really cool knife to have in the collection. Uh, you know, one to keep an eye out for if you're into collecting and or love a knife in this variation. Like, I think you'd be very pleased to have one. Uh, there's just a lot to like there. They feel great in hand. They are, you know, hard to get, which is great for a collector like myself. It makes a day like this really fun. Um, and it's just a, a pleasure to have uh, found another one. So that's all for now. Please like, subscribe, feel free to comment correct and I will see you on the next one. Take care.